So today I was playing a random game of Dead by Daylight when I suddenly stumbled upon a Wild David. I stalked him, got his information and his social security number, and then we got into a chase because he didn't want me to have it. After a long and wild and quite steamy chase, I finally caught up to him and got him down. But like the salty person he was, he DC'd. Now I don't know about anyone else who plays Dead by Daylight, but I don't think it's fair that other people DC. So what I did is I decided to let the others live and have a little fun with them. I looked around for my fellow survivor friends and it took me a while to find them. But I eventually ran into a nice young Jin who obviously wanted to be friends with me and a Bill who wanted to be friends as well. He's nothing like French. Young Jin came up to me and tried to give me her map, but I stabbed at it to try to tell her that I didn't want her map and that she could keep it. It was all hers and it was not mine to take. As I was walking away, she realized that I was right because it was her map. She brought it into the game and it was not mine to take. We then gathered around this nice little barrel fire that we found next to our generator because we were tired and it was really cold outside. We decided to be nice to take a break. We then finished our generator and decided it'd be nice to go find another one and get back to work. While looking for a very special generator, we stumbled upon a wild Nia who decided to join the squad and have some fun with us. After we found our generator, I saw a totem in the corner and stabbed at it, indicating that I wanted one of the survivors to cleanse it. Considering it was dull and meaningless like all my relationships, I decided that I'd let them get rid of it. While the young Jin was cleansing the totem, I tried to convince one of the survivors to drop the pallet on my head and get rid of the brain cell that I had left because it was pretty much meaningless after I lost all of them. I finally convinced the bill to drop it on my head and get rid of what I didn't have, a brain. After I lost my last brain cell, I tried to get over the young Jin who was trying to get my attention. I then opened the locker and groped her because she likes it rough. After me and young Jin had our sexy time, we went to this other campfire that we found and we decided it'd be nice to sit around it a while again, and we all shook our heads yes, confirming it was a campfire. The young Jin then turned around and offered her booty, because she wanted round two. And the rules are, if offered booty, you take the booty. After round two, it was time for them to go, which made me really sad. I then went to a corner and pouted, hoping that it would convince them to stay, but it didn't. They shook their head no, confirming that it would be okay and that I'd be fine on my own. I then agreed and decided to help them see their way out and get out safely. At the end they finally left like my dad, but hopefully, unlike him, they'll bring back the milk. <laughs>